into the front court. Harris played by Jalen Brown for Boston and Philly. It's the first of two preseason games. Sixers play Friday night in Indiana. Celtics go against the Nets. The Nets in Boston on Friday night. Embiid and rebounded by Brown. Ball knocked out of his hands, and it's another turnover. Simmons lost control, picked up by. Tobias Harris, rather Seth Curry, who's able to knock it down. Yeah, Seth Curry's going to have such a great presence on this team here, Danny Green. Why? Just because they're always constant threats on the floor. So one of the biggest keys about playing Philly is that they can't space the floor. Well, they can do that now with the shooters they have. And one of those shooters out there, Javante Green, second-year man out of Radford. Spent time playing in Italy and Greece, getting the start. This evening, Doc Rivers very high on Javante Green. That's what you get when you play against the Celtics. I mean, when you think about Jalen Brown and Tatum and, and all of his guys in there, Green has to come in and he has to follow in their mode. And coming in, watching a guy like Marcus Smart play the point guard, tough D, and take charges, that's just great leadership right there. Nice touch again by Jalen Brown. So Boston with a, a 6-2 lead here at the start. But, uh, you, you know, <laughs> Seth looks back at the ref and says, wait a minute, I got fouled on that play. But I tell you what, this shot is even pretty on the air ball and a foul because his follow through is just that crisp. Here's Tatum, he got the step and scores on the reverse. How about the Celtics young guy? We know this man right here, Jalen Brown, could have been an all-star last year, but this man was an all-star last year. I mean, when you look at the stats of what Tatum has done, the future is bright with this young guard forward core. Robert Williams picking up the foul. Here's Green looking for a three, gives it up. Nice. Oh, Simmons has it. Take it away, try to get it down low on the hop. And the pass again broke it up. It's a two on one for the Sixers. Tobias Harris with the bucket. Doc Rivers has been very high on uh, Tobias since he's had a breakthrough in training camp and felt that Tobias dribbled too much last season. And uh, watch Tobias as a foul is called. Back to uh, making quick decisions. Remember, he played for Doc for a brief time for the Clippers. Yeah, Marv, but when you dribble too much, either you're really good and you have that license a la Kyrie Irving or hard or you're trying to find something. Your teammates aren't getting you involved. You're trying to find a little bit of a rhythm, and that's why he was dribbling, trying to get his own shots while players could learn him on the fly and then make it easier for himself. Curry came out of that uh, foul, a shot off taken by Brown from deep of the corner. So great to see NBA arenas again. I know we don't have fans except Curry. But I know we don't have fans, and fans are going to be back. But, but for me, the photographers, even with the mask going back there behind uh, the arena, the same logos on the floor, uh, just the same backdrop to me, feels really good to see basketball starting starting to get its feel back. What about the depth perception on shot attempts, though, as opposed to the bubble, which uh, guys obviously did have very much uh, trouble fighting the range. Well, I tell you what, from personal experience, uh, you know, uh, you, you see the Hoosiers, the great Hoosiers movie, the coach goes out there and says each rim is 10 feet. He's right. But then again, in some places, the air seems to be thinner than others for your shot. So I expect some games to get back, uh, some individual games to drop back to reality. And then I expect some of our best stars to even up their games before because now they're back in a comfortable setting, even though the fans are still not there yet. Ben Simmons with the uh, foul, putting Jason Tatum at the line. 
And yes, what a leap uh, Tatum took last season. Jumping from just under 15 points. A disappointing season two years back. And averaged 23 a game, made the all-star team, signed that five-year, $195 million extension. On the subject of big money signings, how about Giannis? Adetokounmpo, earlier today, the announcement from the Bucks, a Supermax five-year, $228 million extension. <laughs> I tell you what, the two-time MVP, the defensive player of the year, the baddest man in the paint in the league, I tell you what, he deserves it. I just hope the fans of Milwaukee really respect the decision, just like the defenders should respect that dunk right there. Great play by Green. Tell you what, Celtics getting out in that passing lane. They know their identity. Tough, hard-nosed ball. Throw it up. Alley oop. Preseason. You know the painstaking kind of pros and cons that he had to go through. And so for me, as a guy from a small market and loving a guy like KG that wanted to stay in a small market, I love seeing Anthony Kupo, Marv, stay there and sign that Mac contract. And, and just for those same reasons, I think that if you're Houston, you have to let Harden go when you think about you have a rookie coach, even though I think Silas is going to be a great coach, but your offensive coordinator is gone. You have new players. Um, the same expectations that the Bucks are signing Antetokounmpo to, the Houston Rockets have failed Harden to at a certain point, and some can say he has himself. And so those are just a couple of the stories that I'm watching while we're watching some preseason games because one thing we've learned from last year is going to be competitive. It's going to be a competitive season. Well, Hart is now in training camp with the Rockets as Embiid is able to knock it down, but the rumors continue involving the Sixers, the Nets, the Heat. Several other teams have been mentioned. But, you know, there are two questions of significance. Trading for Hart, and if you already are a good team, you're breaking up your core, particularly your bench, which would be involved, and of course, future draft picks. And from Houston's point of view, when you trade a superstar, whatever the sport, you rarely get back equal value. You're so, you're so right, Mar. But I would just argue this: Houston's not going to win a championship this year. So, what do you want to do? You want Wall to get healthy. You want to train your young players. Guys know what's going on. If they're hard, they would want to leave too. So, you don't want a guy in the locker room where. Harden's one of the most professional guys we have. He's going to play every game, play every minute. But you don't want a guy in the locker room that you can't have more victories, you can't have small wins with because there's a bigger picture. And he doesn't belong. He doesn't belong there. You guys have had your chance, and he should be somewhere else. So I, I know that sounds a little rough. He should stay professional. But at the end of these guys' careers, we look and say, you didn't have a championship. Well, this is one year you could put no championship for him if he stays in Houston, period. And Green setting it up. It counts in the foul. Ben Simmons, who just a moment ago made that beautiful pass, will head to the line. Ben Simmons just a 61% free throw shooter. He's a finisher inside, and that's what you want. I know there's been so much criticism about his outside game. But I tell you this, I don't know anyone that's criticized him when he's gone downhill because he's one of the best to do it when he has the ball in his hands. Last year averaged 16 a game, 8 assists, 8 rebounds, 2-time All-Star. And hits the free throw for the 3-point play. Interesting because with Simmons out there, if you look at this... Philadelphia team, there's only one ball handler. Seth Curry definitely can get his own shot and he can get others involved. But with this lineup, look for Ben Simmons to control it and get everybody their good look with the one ball handler. Tied at 13, five and a half remaining in this first quarter. Taco Fall with early entrance, the seven foot five second year man out of Central Florida. Another turnover. This is Green putting it up. Oh, beautifully done. The Simmons got it right back for MB. How about MB running the floor early? We saw him lead a break, and then right there, we just saw him fill in. And talking to Coach Doc Rivers before the game, he says, We want more pace. We don't want to win a track race. We just want to keep continued pace during the game. 
And the question going into this season, with more pace, can you do it with Embiid on the floor? Meanwhile, Embiid is off to a tremendous start here. Every time rips out. You know, I think you get better. I know you get better in the offseason. It's, it's no question. And last year, even though we saw Jokic get in shape during the season, that was an anomaly to me. And there's two guys I'm looking to see what they did in the offseason, and that is uh, Embiid. And, and that's that, 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 that just, oh, man, I got I to ask Kenny to think of a nickname for him down in New Orleans because it, we've never seen his athletic ability before, but definitely want to see how these guys have worked on their body in the offseason. New addition, Danny Green able to knock down a three. If Jalen Brown... Embiid should Sixers. go right into the pick and roll here, Mark. He has to learn to play with the guy that can shoot it. He hasn't had that really since Redick. And that's the type of plays that are going to open up the floor for Embiid coming off the pick and roll. First with Simmons to let him get deep. And then with the shooter, he can pop back and get his own shot. And Embiid taking advantage of those open shots. Now 4-9 overall from the field. Taco keeps it alive. Taco falls. On the follow. Taco Fall spent most of last season in the key league. Here's Harris hit from behind and a foul is called. And look at him being now. He can play the space. The good shooter, Curry, draws Taco Falls over. So what did you do? You fade and then you knock that down. And here, big fella, I want to challenge. Now we just saw some great boxing matches out there. I want to see Taco Falls. And bowl, bowl, go one on one, but that's just, I'm getting too excited. It's just the preseason. <laughs> Taco, Taco just committed a technical foul that and beat to the line, able to put it home. Defensive three seconds, uh, Matumbo, uh, one of our greatest uh, defenders ever in this game. Look at, <laughs> speaking of Matumbo, look at Falls get inside the lane, the passing lane. He just has to learn. As a young player, once you get a steal as a big fella, pick it up and get it to the guard. This is Cork Maz, who just checked in. Harris. Shot blocked, but Tobias Harris, NBA championship. You know, Doc Rivers are one of the best motivators in the game, and it seemed like this young team got stuck and needed a little bit of a, a little bit of that inspiration. And uh, again, we talk so much about the process. I just want to, I just want to see this team ball. I think fans like myself have kind of said, uh, "We believe in you, but you got to show us." And no time better than the present. And the other end, the rookie Peyton Pritchard able to knock it down. Rookie out of. Oregon. Celtics very high on Pritchard. First round draft pick. Shake Milton has checked in along with Mike Scott for the 76ers. Miles with a driving hook. Oh man, I love seeing him on that little corner of the free throw line i used to love playing on that and because he can vision he can see guys on the other side he can watch them but also he can take it to the middle it's really an iso play great play by simmons taco fall coming up with the rebound but got involved with a uh, trip here's that shot by simmons yeah, and, and, and just think if Taco Falls is checking a smaller guard, that guard or that player, a three-point shooter, could spread out, and that opens the lane even that much more for Simmons. So look for this to be a staple play for them this year. You've seen Dirk do it. You've seen a lot of great forwards do it that can handle the ball. Free throw line extended, get others involved. Dwight Howard now on the floor for Philly, along with Shake Milton. And nice move there by... By Korkmaz, Furkan Korkmaz, out of Istanbul, Turkey. This time Pritchard is off, kept alive though. 
With a minute to go in this first quarter, Jeff Teague, one of the Celtic additions, checking in for the first time just a moment ago. Ian Pritchard now in the backcourt. And it's a 24 second violation. So you what, preseason charges and 24 second clock violations get a defense pumped up, and you can tell by the reaction right there by Philadelphia on the side. This is Shea Belton taking all the way. Tell you what, we have two explosive guards right now. Shake Milton and Shake Shake on the floor. And don't forget Pritchard over there in the corner. He has some great handles as well. Hard driving move by Chevy Ogile, and he drew the foul. Uh, two shots for Ogile. Ogilvy made his presence felt last year, just being that energy guy, standing in his lane and doing all the right things to gain trust from his team and to earn some playing time. Ogilvy out of SMU, played a couple of years at Duke, one season at SMU. Well, the NBA is back, as you know. You can watch the start of the 2020-21 NBA season during Kia NBA tip-off beginning on December the 22nd. Next Tuesday on TNT as the season gets, gets started. Brought to you by the K5 from Kia, the official automotive partner of the NBA. seconds to go in this first quarter. There's Milton, beautiful setup. White Howard with the stuff. Final seconds of the first. So that's the end of the first quarter. Here's that lead pass for Howard. Despite the nine turnovers in the first quarter, Celtics have their biggest lead up by 10. You're watching preseason basketball NBA on TNT.